there's a transition taking place with this New York Jets football team as we hit through the bye week. And it starts with the most important position in all of team sports. That's quarterback. That's Zach Wilson. And I've been labeled a little bit of a Zach Wilson hater by some of you who hang out here. By the way, I appreciate it regardless of what you say. Um, and I've never been more confused by that. Now, don't get it twisted. I have hated on some men in this organization. Jeff Wilbrook, LaMarcus Joyner, looking at you. I was wrong about both. Never been more happy to admit it. But with Zach, I think it's really been a function of my expectations for the number two overall pick in year two being significantly higher than most Jets fans. And honestly, I don't know if there's a bigger insult to a young quarterback than expectations so low that there is no floor to which we would deem an unacceptable performance for Zach Wilson. That to me is as big of an insult as the trolls who want to call him a bus and talk about Justin Fields. It really is. And I've never been in the business of making excuses for Zach Wilson that he would never make for himself. And what do we see against the Buffalo Bills? Well, in my opinion, I don't give a shit how many yards he threw for. I don't. Because what I saw with my eyes was a masterclass in adult professional quarterbacking. Good pocket awareness, using your mobility, going through your reads quickly, making good, sound decisions, and accurately delivering the fo football on time, on target, staying ahead of the sticks, good situational awareness, beautiful. Watch it again. It's even better the second time. And that's who Zach Wilson is. So the comparisons can kind of stop. I don't need him to be Joe Burrow or Justin Herbert or whoever else. I expect Zach Wilson to be Zach Wilson. And that is a quarterback who is intelligent, athletic, and can accurately distribute the football. And if he didn't do those things against the Buffalo Bills, if he went out there and threw a couple picks or only completed 50% of his passes, what would have happened? Jets fans, we would have had excuses lined up down the block and around the corner. The Bills are a great defense. No Corey Davis, no ABT, no Brees. It's his 20 to start. How is he supposed to throw the ball to a guy six feet in front of him wide open? How could he possibly do that? Come on. No. <laughs> and some of those things are real, right? Those injuries, they're real. The offensive line, not ideal. But it's okay to expect Zach Wilson to do difficult things in non-ideal circumstances in his second season. It's the definition of how you become a young franchise quarterback in this league. And Zach Wilson just showed us he can do that because that was the same offensive line that was out there against the Patriots and the same skill position groups and the same guy calling the place. And did all those people around Zach Wilson perform better? Yes, they did. But the biggest thing that moved the needle was Zach Wilson stepping his game up. So I'm not going to... Uh, absolve Zach Wilson for all the blame when he plays poorly by blaming all those people. But I'm not going to strip him away from all the credit. The biggest difference was Zach Wilson manning up in that football game. You love to see it. And that is the standard for Zach Wilson the back half of this season. And when he dips below that standard, am I going to call him a bust? No. But I'm not going to give him a noogie and say, oh, it's only your 21st start. What do you... No. <laughs> and Zach Wilson doesn't do the things that I know he could do. I'm not going to say it's because he wasn't wearing his lucky underwear. And he just gave us a blueprint on how to get this team to the playoffs. He really did. And I can't wait to see what this young man has in store the back half of the season. Go Jets.